Okay, so here we go. I have to say, this is like exciting you're reading this month. Okay, let me put this into like, I I'm taking it all in myself. So, all right, so you're coming out of February. We have a new moon in Aquarius. I hope you guys practice. I hope you really tune in to what's going on around you. I know collectively there's a lot going on. Um, but as far as personal for you, general energies for this month, any cancers who have had a difficult marriage, breakup, or anything pertaining to relationships, doesn't have to be spousal, can be family oriented, can be a lot of different things. Um, this part might apply to some of you. I feel like the ones for people who have been in a transitional relationship or things haven't worked out um, and it's the end of the road for that relationship or that endeavor, you have the death card, which is right here. Any type of um, cheating that was going on or anything within a past relationship that has already transpired, you have the card of transition here, okay? Now, the death card, yes, it can mean death, but not to you right here. What it's saying is there's been a transformation, a new you is emerging. You've been through a lot within relationships, and it's within a four of wands, which is your happiness, you know, home life. You are the fourth house of cancer. It's card number four. You are literally transitioning from old wounds into a new relationship, okay? So um, for any of you who've done all the work and the healing and a lot from past relationships, you've gotten through it, you've emerged, you've transformed, you have new perspective, new energy, new drive. You're ready to, for some of you, really let love come into your life, a new beginning to set up home, to have... Um, to manifest, you have an ace in this, right in the front of this reading. You have an ace. I'm sorry, I'm not used to the camera on this angle. You have new ideas, new beginnings, new manifestations on how you are going to create your happiness in your home life, your home, and especially after a time of transitioning, which is just incredible. So for some of you, you're going to be seeking... New love, new marriage, new beginnings in love. And look at this, guys. Look at this. Crowning energy. Here's your knight in shining armor. Whether you're male or female, this is somebody who's offering you the Ace of Cups. New relationship. New, uh, new emotional love relationship that's coming into your life. It's, it's coming here and coming. You guys should see some of it in the month of February. That is just... Gorgeous. Love it for you. So United Cups is bringing in um, a proposal, a offering of an Ace of Cups, the Dove of Peace. Your cup is overflowing with love and joy. Okay? For some of you, that could be children. You could be um, giving birth. But for I think overall, for the main part of this reading in general, um, this is new beginnings in love. Okay? Okay? Now, you've transitioned through, you've already had your tower, you've had maybe some cheating going on or some, you know, when I see the Page of Swords, um, whether he's reversed or upright, it's it's information coming in, you know, pages bring news and information in, so you might have found out something that was hard to hear within your family life, within your home, within your environment, um, and the tower creates the change and the death brings an ending to and transitioning to a new situation to bring in new love, new, new ways to um, initiate or for you to go out there and find love into the four of ones to me is just a gorgeous card. But with the tower and the death card here, it's total change and total transformation. So, and it's already happened or it's already happened in the past so out with the old, in with the new, guys. Look forward to your future. Look forward to the weeks and months to come because um, you have the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups in an upright position. So to me, this could be a judge, a, you know, um, 
this could be anything that is settled out one part of your life so that you could begin the new of another. Okay. And I'm just putting it towards love and romance because that's the sense I'm feeling. And it might not apply to all of you. It might not resonate with all of you. Um, but more so in this reading, for the ones that this does apply to, um, you come out as the queen of cups in this reading, okay? Now, a queen of cups, yes, yeah, she could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it could be you, right? You could fall as this water sign. She's nurturing. She's motherly. She's intuitive. She loves, okay? She loves freely. Um, she feels all situations very emotionally through the depths of her soul. So if you've had any of this transpire for you, the new you has emerged with the death card in transition. The new you is coming out. Um, for those of you, and I'm just, this is for a small few of you. If anyone's had any issues with um, mortgages or problems within their home or, you know, worrying about finances in your home and paying your mortgage and all that, your worst is over. You should be able to shine. You should be able to go forward with new information, um, new documents to sign. They may not be great, but you can save your home. For those of you who've had any um, issues with that, again, it's a sense I feel. It's sometimes readers pick up different things, and but that's what I'm picking up for you, um, Cancer, for some of you. Also, um, your underlining energies, if you know, and with the death card here and the judgment card here, in your underlining energy, you've been through, um, in your mind, a lot. You fought the battle, okay? You have a wish fulfilled, um, and you have the, the last judgment card, right? So, again, new beginnings. The death ends a cycle. The judgment card, you're rebirthing something new. For some of you, you're literally giving birth, okay? For others of you, um, it's to... You have a wish fulfilled with family, friends, um, to be happy with community, with people around you, with your neighbors, with your friends, whoever that is, okay? This is going out, having a good time. Um, you've been through a lot of um, upheaval. Um, this is saying you're willing to let that go. You want to have fun again, rejoice, enjoy, know that a wish is fulfilled um, for you there. And this is like, you know, you see these, it's like the last judgment. You've made good choices. You've got through the worst. Um, you're healing. You're, tr you're transforming yourself with huge transition. Um, you see them all coming out of like these coffins. This is Archangel Gabriel. He blows the trumpet. It's rebirth, right? Regeneration, rebirth. That's your underlining energy. And you know what, guys? You're ready and saying, yeah, I'm ready to go ahead full steam. Um, you know what, Chrissy, I'm going for it. Um, I've been through hell and back. I have wishes fulfilled. I have new ideas, new opportunities. I can manifest a great love into my life if that's what I want. Cards are upright, but I emerge out of all the, tr the trials and, and struggles, even if there's anything law related in the middle of it. I may not come out the richest person in the world, but I'm coming out loving, kind, intuitive. I'm coming out with my heart in an upright, like just feeling the love, nurturance. I'm coming out and I'm going to be okay, right? And I'm going to go for my new beginnings, whether it's be in love, whether it be in career, job. Um, there's so much opportunity coming in the night. I just feel as though it's an emotional um, new beginning for you. It's it's on the love front. It's with family. It's with to regenerate um, old relationships, to put endings to old relationships, and to create the new beginnings that you um, truly desire and you need to seek out. These are just beautiful cards to me. I am, you know, I ha I just I get chills just reading it for you. Um, Again, the Page of Swords, you're coming out of January. You had a, We have a new moon in Aquarius, right? So set your intentions high. If you want to manifest love, then that's what you manifest. That's what you bring to you. Again, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, you have two aces on the table. New ideas, new inspiration, new loves, new beginnings. 
Now, anybody in your past who's lied to you, who's cheated you, um, you've done the right things. You, you truly, you're protecting your home, your environment, your fourth house of cancer, which you are the fourth house. Um, so just, you know, use this energy, guys. Beautiful cards for you. Use it. Use it wisely. If you feel yourself getting down or there was a situation that you just couldn't get through, know that you're, you're coming towards the end of the cycle with it. And um, you're working very hard to um, mend and heal. And you're just doing great. I just think it's great. Okay. Um, I pulled your... Um, I got so excited with the reading. I, I lost... I pulled some um, angel guidance for you. Okay, so here's your angel guidance. You received two cards. First one you received is Law of Attraction, right? So, oh, and look at this. You received Wedding also. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Put my amethyst right on that. Um, so the first card, Law of Attraction, right? Cancer, this is um, the Law of Attraction. Any thought you put out there is like a boomerang. It comes back. So... Practice the law of attraction because, and keep your thoughts positive as you go towards, towards the month of February. Um, you want to choose your thoughts, right? So you align with the positive thinking that you have, because if you go into the negative thinking, thinking, then that's sometimes what's going to come back to you, you know, by saying, well, I'm not good enough to, you know, find new love then you know what? You're not going to be good enough to find new love. You could say, I'm, I have beauty. I have elegance. I am a good mother. I'm a good wife. I'm a good, I'm a good, all these things. You can attract whatever you put your mind to attract. Okay. So the law of attraction is giving and receiving and don't always, you know, forget to receive. Right. So you could be receiving small gifts, small things that come through synchronicities right? Open your arms and welcome them and just thank you, right? Because you're going to give out good things too and you'll receive them back, okay? So that's one of the angel's messages for you. The second one was wedding, which, um, okay, so some of you are going to find new love. This is Valentine's Day too, uh, month. You have Valentine's Day in here and I wasn't specifically doing all these readings for love. I was just doing what general sense was coming through to me. You have the card of wedding, so you could be going to a wedding. And another, a couple other signs have gotten this already. Um, so it's the two souls that join in love, mutual respect, commitment. This signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a reassessment of your well-founded faith in love of power. Continually breathe, breathe life into the faith and love. So I believe some of you are either getting married, going to a wedding, um, getting ready to really enjoy a wedding that you're going to, or maybe you're giving a wedding to a, you know, one of your children to get married, grandchild. Um, but there's definite, um, wedding in the air for cancers for this month. That is really interesting with this reading. Now, for some of you who've gotten out of relationships and looking for new love, you could just, it doesn't have to be you know, marriage, but it can be to meet a new love and bring it to a new level of a relationship. Okay, let's see what the Oracle's message is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't make this up if I tried. Celebration. So I guess for cancer for you guys, um, think positive always. Manifest what you truly desire. Gorgeous card. Take a good look, guys. Okay, so there's celebrations. There's good times, there's happiness, food and drink, community, friends, neighbors, getting together, celebrating, 